The flipping from zero to a billion or zero to Hyperion trend has been going on for a very, very long time. When I watched these videos, I always wondered, how long does it actually take them to do this? That's why, in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to make 1 billion coins in under 24 hours of gameplay, starting on a brand new profile. Keyword here, 24 hours of gameplay. So, I'm not going to do this in one 24-hour sitting. It's going to take more time than that. However, I will only be on the new profile for 24 hours. For this, there's only two rules. Rule number one, seems pretty obvious, I need to make this money in under 24 hours. If I go over 24 hours, I fail the challenge. Rule number two, every method I do must be legit and you must be able to be replicated. What I mean by this is I can't go around hubs asking for hundreds of millions of coins. I just can't. However, I could go around and beg asking for like 10k or 100k because people can actually do that. And then obviously all the money making methods have to be legal. No shit. But during this series, there's also a challenge for you guys. For every 100 subscribers I gain throughout this entire series, I will give away 5 million coins to one of you guys. So if I gain 100 subscribers throughout this entire series, it's a 5 million coin giveaway. If I gain 1,000, it's 50 mil. If I gain 10,000 subscribers somehow, it's 500 mil. So the point is, the more subscribers I gain on this series, the better it is. And you actually can check how much people subscribed on each individual YouTube video. So make sure to get people to watch these videos and then subscribe. And, well, hey, it's free money for you guys. Um... Yeah, this took me a long time. It took me about 24 hours. Kind of crazy, right? All right, so first step is to obviously create the new profile. As you can see, boom, we got a new profile. First thing, timer is going to be starting now. So for this series, I want to make the video unique. By doing this, I'm not going to be sitting at AH all day 24-7 because it's not very entertaining. I'm going to spice it up a little bit, add some pizzazz with some unique stuff that really hasn't been done before. So my first goal of action is to get some coins. And this is actually something I'm going to do to get a bunch of coins. It's going to be begging of sorts. Generally speaking, people will just, if you're begging on hubs, they won't give you a whole lot of stuff from my personal experience. But what you can do is ask for people's runes. Now, runes no one really uses, at least the average person. But they can vary in price from runes going from like 1k to certain runes going for 2 to 30 million coins. So I'm going to be going around and kind of asking for runes so I can get them starting up money. I'm looking to hit around 2 to 3 million coins, and then I'll work on getting to Bazaar. With the new levels update, they kind of fucked up how you get to Bazaar, which is incredibly annoying. First though, let's just stick to getting some runes. I'll cut back as soon as I got some. Hey, this guy looks chill. He's gonna give me some runes. Maybe. I don't really know. Sim's pretty cool though. Snow runes, lightning runes, pestilence runes. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. That's spectacular. Perfect, I got a few ones done here. I'm only gonna be able to sell some of these runes, some of them are just straight trash. But hey, so far, we're on a good start. Alright, we got a second person. Redstone zap, hearts, clouds. Snow, golden, ice, jam, blood, lava, hot. Wonderful. I might not sell all these, we'll have to see. Either way, we're just gonna have to see. You know, this actually surprisingly works. I think this works better than like begging. Because you people are more likely to give you stuff. That they don't need, and nobody needs ice runes, or nobody needs runes in the first place. Alright, so I'll see if I can sink one more big fish here, see if I can get someone to give me some good runes. Hoping for like some rakes, some rainbows, up to sea, and then I'll be able to start getting into like the actual big, big flips here. Alright, so I got this guy here, he said he has a bunch of runes for me, he doesn't use them anyways, so he's gonna give me pretty much everything he has. Ooh, damn! You have so much runes! Holy crap, he wasn't joking, oh my god! Okay, so that's a lot of runes. Um, I should be able to sell this for a bunch of starting money. Let me see how much I can sell some of this stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll even have enough coins in my purse to put some of these up on AH. Oh my god! Tidy runes are one mil per. I can't even put them up on AH. It's too damn expensive. Okay, quick question on this: Why is there taxes in this game? It's not like it goes to pay the admins or the workers. They don't live off Skylock coins, so it just kind of disappears. Whatever. I'll figure that out later day. Uh, really quickly, let me put up some runes. I think I'll put up, like, a cloud rune for, like, 40k or something. Hopefully, that should be enough for me to start putting up the more expensive runes. Alright, so here's my total haul from all the stuff I got. Most of them is from one guy, but I still got a good amount of runes from, like, three or four other people. But I have runes now. Like, a lot of runes now. And these are, like, good runes. For example, title runes literally go for 800,000 coins per. So, I don't really know how much this is gonna sell for. But I mean, it seems to be like a quite a hefty amount of starting money. 
first I put myself up. God, Auction Master, go the hell away. I put some up for my Cloud Runes. That should get me started. Now I'm going to just wait until that sells. Once that sells, I'm going to continue to put the rest of my runes up on a gauge until I have around 500 coins to a million coins. And then I'm going to work on unlocking the Bazaar. All right, so my auction house is just sold for the four cloud runes, which means I now have enough money to put literally all these other runes back on each. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll cut back as soon as we're done. Okay, so uh, my tidy runes are just sold in. Or sold in. Sold, so now I have 3.5 million coins. Really quickly, I'm going to get myself, like, foraging, mining. I'm going to get myself so I can access the bazaar. So, basically speaking, if you didn't know, with the levels update, they changed the bazaar requirement from foraging, whatever the three levels to seven are, to use actual skyblock level to level seven. However, when I recorded this, that change was not implemented yet. Instead, you had to get to skyblock level 12, which is a lot harder. So with the coins I already have, I'm going to work on buying up some gear. I'm going to do some, like, some slayers. I need to be the tier 3 in all slayers. I need to do some of that stuff. Get farming, foraging, all that good stuff up. So, <laughs> let's go do that. It's probably going to take, like, 30 minutes to an hour. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can get to Pizarre. First thing I did, though, was I just have to spend a lot of money. And use the museum. The museum is one of the best ways to get experience. Because you get like 5 to 10 experience per, and most of these items are so, so cheap to get. So I've got this much, I've got another like, 2 ender chests of stuff I bought for around a million coins. That should be able to easily give me 4 or 5 levels, because I need them fast, and everything else takes some time. After this, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I might go and buy myself like a tree cap and get some foraging, buy myself some mining gear, get some mining. And then I might just do slayers, because each slayer gives you quite a lot of XP for leveling up. It's like 30 or 40 per actual slayer you do. And besides that, haha, <laughs> funny, I know him. Uh, but besides that, you also get level for every time you level up. So when you get to level 2, whatever. So I'm going to start by just, oh, what is that? Why is that not working? Perfect. Dropping all these items off. And I'll cut back as soon as we're done. And then we'll go on to the slayers and, you know, the collections part of it. And besides the museum, there's also two easy ways. Skills and collection. Hence, why I have the mineral gear I spent some money on. Basically speaking, we're going to be going around and mining up stuff like this. What it'll do is it'll level up our mining level, giving us skyblock experience. And it'll give us collection in both cobblestone, coal, gold, and all the other stuff, because I'm going to be doing it in the gold mine. That will allow for me to be making a bunch of money. Well, who am I kidding? This isn't me making any money. But hey, at least I'll be able to unlock the bazaar, which is the goal of this. I like, you know, all these collections, it'll be a pretty easy way to do it, especially because, like, I just run around and do it. It just doesn't take that long. And because how I mine it, I get all these different types of collections, which levels it up pretty fast. So I'm going to do this once I have, like, tier 5 collection and all of this. I'm not mining, I don't know, 12 or something. So next up, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, I'm doing foraging. It hates me that I'm doing this, but there's a few reasons why. There's a bunch of different tree collections that you can very easily do. Also, foraging is incredibly, incredibly easy if you have yourself a tree cap potato, which has zero requirements except for money, but you can just sell it back. This is going to be one of the fastest ways to level up a skill, foraging, and get collection in every single wood type. So I'm going to do this for a little bit, and, well, I'm going to go die in hell for doing this, aren't I? Foraging. Blech. Alright, so I just got myself up foraging level 11 and collection, I believe, 6 in every single one. So now all I need to do, if I did my mass ride, get myself a tier 3 slayer kill in both zombie, tarantula, and sven. By doing so, I'll get enough skyblock levels to actually use the bazaar, and then we'll begin our next flip right in time because Spooky Fest is just about to happen, which is what our first flip is going to be about. So, for each boss you defeat that's a new tier, you gain 25 skyblock EXP. So, my goal is going to be to defeat all tier 3 um, bosses. Perfect, we're now skyblock level 9, meaning we're inching closer and closer and closer to our goal. So quite literally, I'm going to hub 1 and just summoning in tier 3s, so there's like absolute rant, so random quests and just kill them, and as we can see, I'm getting a Skywalk XP. It's working like a charm. Literally, I just have to do this a few more times, and I'm almost there. I'm so, so close. I'm going to do a tier 3 one more time. This will then get me to the next layer of Revenant. After this, I'm going to try to do the exact same thing with, I believe, Wolves, and eventually, we will get there. Alright, so I'm just going to spawn in this boss really quick. Oh, oh, it's already dead. Alright, that's wonderful. Easy like that, and as we can see, we just gave ourselves some extra Skywalk experience. 
I didn't even have to do anything. Quite literally, all I did was just summon a boss and I got killed. Now let's do the same thing with wolves and pray that someone's able to do it. Oh my god, that was a nightmare. That was a nightmare and a half. That guy just wasn't hitting the boss, which made it so much harder <laughs> in every way imaginable. Holy crap, dude. That boss took such a long time. I'm not joking to you. How long, did that, how long did that actually take? It took three minutes and 30 seconds. Holy crap. That's the longest boss I think I've ever done. But hey, at least we got it. And I think very soon we should have what we're looking for. Yeah, we're at 60 right now. We'll basically have what we need. We take that. We just need 40 more. And once we upgrade this to tier three we'll have it now nah, i've just got to do some sven tier twos or whatever and then we'll be chill then we'll be good yay i found necron sweat dude don't you love it when you just get a necron sweat to carry you and everything and this guy's like fully cured to get out and everything he, like one shot the boss for christ's sake i mean hey i'm happy with that all right all right so now once i claim this i should be like two exp away and i can just kill some zombies or something to get it and claim all right so we're not quite there but i'll get there in like a minute and we'll finally have bizarre thank god dude all right so it should be with one or two more zombie kills and i finally have access to bizarre yep thank god screw you guys what i need to travel to a different island right hub yeah yeah i should there we go oh thank god love of holy now i can use bizarre only taken me like a year and a half to get there i'm not joking i think it probably took me about an hour to get all the stuff from bizarre needed now of course it takes less time because the uh, update they patched it but holy crap we now have it and we can begin the spooky festival flipping of course once i sell my tree cap mineral armor all right so a bunch of my runes just sold and i'm showing up 4.5 million coins by the way this is only from begging for runes but Fearmonger's now here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some buy orders for some vampirism books. And I'm also going to try and to snag some phantom rods. Those are my two goals, vampirism and phantom. And we should be looking pretty good. Vampirism books, right now, it's not smart to buy. Which is why I'm going to create a buy order for, let's go, I think I can do six. I set the price to 245k. I don't know if they're ever going to drop this low, but in case they do, never mind, I can't actually do that. And that is, I'm just going to wait till the very end when the prices are lower, so I'll be back eventually. Alrighty, so Spooky just ended, and I'm going to see what I'm able to get my hands on. I checked the price of Phantom Rods. They are... They've not changed. Honestly, most of the stuff I was originally looking at doing just is, isn't. is Just no. Honestly, that's probably my bad. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of made a video going over it, and it's got like 20,000 plus views. So I really shouldn't be surprised by the fact that all the flips that I said were good are not as good anymore. So because Phantom Rods and Vampires and Bix, Bix books didn't really work, it's kind of like three things that I'm going to be going for. One, Bat Person Talismans. It's always a solid. Second, Witch Mask. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. I've seen them drop down to like 400k before. 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 I'm trying to buy some there. And then I'm going to go with Spooky Cupcakes. I think those will be my main three since the original ones kind of failed oh yeah i also forgot about lucky hoofs those things are so good like they're such good flips dead ass they're almost as good as slips as your mother sadly not quite as big of a margin but hey these aren't huge flips better than nothing though oh yes straddle me timbers god how did i not get that it literally was had the thing so like oh you can't buy this right now oh 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 you can't buy it oh okay these ones i'm at least gonna be able to make some profit on much no some yes all right that's all i'm going to buy but we just got that some money left over and we got a good amount of stuff we got spooky candy bad person hoofs witch masks and potentially vampires and books so we're going to see how that goes all right so it's like a day or two later i put most of the stuff up on a i already claimed some of it i got like 2.8 mil but let's see what else sold and hopefully we'll be able to start doing some more flips oh uh, now pretty much everything Ooh, even the witch mask okay so pretty much everything sold and we're now at 5.2 million coins. So that made me some pretty big profit, actually. I don't know why, but I've got some of them in my chest. So if we go and grab... I had two? I don't know why I put those in there. B 
beats me. But we can go and we can sell this for 900k a pop and we are absolutely chilling. We are chilling like a villain. I'm just going to put this at 900k. Once all this stuff sells, we'll be at another like 1. Point... No, not 1. 2.4 mil. Alright, so I'm going to wait for the some of this stuff to sell and then we'll do a little bit more bizarre flipping. For the bizarre flipping, there's kind of the three things we're going for. Craft flips and then just general public flips. I don't know why I said three. But wait till the stuff sells before I begin with that so we have an accurate read of how much you're actually able to make from doing that. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It took us around an hour and a half, hour, 30 minutes. But in that hour and 30 minutes we actually got started, we have access to Bizarre Skyblock level 12. And we're sitting at around 8 million coins. All the stuff on Bizarre and AH. So, so we're at 8 million coins, 1.5 hours in. So we're looking pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video so much. My plan is to upload these guys once every week. And then I'll update you on the time and how m the progress at the end of each video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, like, join Discord. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.